November 22, 2019 Memorial of St. Cecilia, Virgin and Martyr A reading from the first book of Maccabees. Judas and his brother said, Now that our enemies have been crushed, let us go up to purify the sanctuary and rededicate it. So the whole army assembled and went up to Mount Zion. Early in the morning, on the 25th day of the ninth month, that is, the month of Kislev, in the year 148, they arose and offered sacrifice according to the law on the new altar of burnt offerings that they had made. On the anniversary of the day on which the Gentiles had defiled it, on that very day, it was reconsecrated with songs, harps, flutes, and cymbals. All the people prostrated themselves and adored and praised heaven, who had given them success. For eight days, they celebrated the dedication of the altar and joyfully offered burnt offerings and sacrifices of deliverance and praise. They ornamented the facade of the temple with gold crowns and shields. They repaired the gates and the priest's chambers and furnished them with doors. There was great joy among the people now that the disgrace of the Gentiles was removed. Then Judas and his brothers and the entire congregation of Israel decreed that the days of the dedication of the altar should be observed with joy and gladness on the anniversary every year for eight days. From the 25th day of the month, Kislev. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, We praise your glorious name, O mighty God. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. We praise your glorious name, O mighty God. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory, for all in heaven and on earth is yours. We praise your glorious name, O mighty God. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you. We praise your glorious name, O mighty God. You have dominion over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. We praise your glorious name, O mighty God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching in the temple area. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death. But they could find no way to accomplish their purpose, because all the people were hanging on his words. The Gospel of the Lord. This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Friday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. Today's reflection is entitled, Purification. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. This passage reveals not only something that Jesus did long ago, it also reveals something that he desires to do today. Additionally, he desires to do this in two ways. He desires to root out all evil within the temple of our world, and he desires to root out all evil in the temple of our hearts. In regard to the first point, it's clear that the evil and ambition of many throughout history have seeped into our church and world. This is nothing new. 
Everyone has most likely encountered some sort of hurt from those within the church itself, from society, and even from family. Jesus does not promise perfection from those we encounter every day, but he does promise to vigorously go after evil and root it out. As for the second and most important point, we should see this passage as a lesson about our own soul. Each soul is a temple that should be set aside solely for the glory of God and the fulfillment of His holy will. Therefore, this passage is fulfilled today if we allow our Lord to enter in and to see the evil and filth within our own souls. This may not be easy to do and will require a true humility and surrender, but the end result will be cleansing and purification by our Lord. Reflect today upon the fact that Jesus desires to bring about purification in many ways. He desires to purify the church as a whole, each society and community, your own family, and especially your own soul. Do not be afraid to let Jesus' holy wrath work its power. Pray for purification on all levels and let Jesus accomplish his mission. Let us pray. Lord, I do pray for the purification of our world, our church, our families, and most especially my own soul. I invite you to come to me this day to reveal to me what it is that grieves you the most. I invite you to root out in my heart all that is displeasing to you. Jesus, I trust. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord. For the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. Wonders he has done in it.